Hello and welcome to this wonderful edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Mr Chumley Warner. And me, Jason Bangers, and today we're looking at connecting your Akai sampler to your PC. So yeah, I've always wondered about these old instruments that we used to use back in the 80s side and using them with today's modern technology and it's doable, isn't it? Yeah, so what we're going to show you, and there's been a lot of questions on the net about how to do it and problems people have been having. So what we've got an Akai S5000 sampler with a USB card in and we're showing you how to connect it ideally to your old Windows XP computer so you can transfer samples back and forth and edit. And I do believe you've got a really, really, really useful tip about the demo mode. Definitely. That's 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 been a lot of forums. How do we get rid of demo mode? So here we go. Watch and see. Here it comes. I've been trying to get my Akai S5000 to link up with my old Windows XP PC. I've been having a whole load of problems. So the first thing is, if you've got an old version of the Akai Sys program, uninstall it and start from scratch. Then the files you need, we'll put a link in the description. You need the Akai Sys 253, which is the main program. You need to install that. Then you need to install the S56AK253 file, which gives the support for the S5000-6000. Then you need to install the S56THMS program which gives you the different themes for your Akai sampler. And also, I've already done this, but there's also the two USB drivers. Basically when you plug the USB in from the Akai, it will ask for the drivers and you can just use those two drivers there. So if I go to Programs, Akai Pro, Akai Sys. And this is very confusing because I thought, well, it's not, I've got my Akai S5000 plugged in and it's not showing anything, it's just coming up with this demo thing and I've seen other people asking about it. And when you press on uh, the actual to look at your sampler, it says Akai Sys is running in demo mode. And I spent hours thinking about this. However, the solution is so simple it's painful. If you go to View, go to Options, and there's a whole list of options here, and one of them says Run Demos. So if you untick that box, press OK, close down Akisys, open it up again, and then it shows up and then hit the plus button and there is my archive sampler memory no floppy in it's got an 18 gig hard drive so then when you press the display and I'll I'll put it there and there it is there's your display, that's all working. You can you can access all your Akai controls. And that's brilliant. And it also shows me on my S5000 I've got 16 outputs. So there's the meters. So basically the trick with this is, I'll repeat it once more, uninstall any old versions of Akai Sys. I'll just shut this down for a minute and just to repeat so once you've uninstalled any old versions install the Akai Sys 253 file which is your main program and then install the S56 AK 253 file which is uh, the like the extensions you need to run it with the S5000 6000 and then run the S 56 THMS program which is your themes for your S5000 and then the two files at the top here are the driver files which when you first plug in your S5000-6000 it will ask for the drivers 
and those are the ones you need to direct your computer to and that will install the USB drivers and you can check this using your Windows XP system if I go to control panel system hardware device manager and I can see I'll, I'll describe it anyway you probably can't see but just at the top here Akai samplers if I press the plus button and Akai S5000, 6000 MIDI stereo digital sampler so it's installed I mean, that's, that's when you know your drivers are installed double click on that and it says this device is working properly so there you go that is the solution to installing the Akai SIS program and using it with your S5000 so many questions on the internet but here is the answer back to the studio very informative as usual Mr Chumley Warner I'll tell you what out of all of that although I'd sort of understood some of it but the most important thing for me there was definitely the demo mode thing because yeah I don't think I'd have figured that one out in the month of Sundays it's easy when you know but yeah. when you don't know it's like well, why is it coming up in demo mode but the answer is simple like you've seen in the video and when, when you know it's easy and it's like anything once you know the answer it's simple yeah, and we'll, we'll see if we can find a link in the description for some of the software where to point you to, but it shows you exactly what to do, and that must have solved a lot of people's questions. I should hope so, yeah. Mm. So it certainly um, opened my eyes as well to the wonderful world of old and the new together. So we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Take the Fear Out of Gear. Don't forget the, or, or Take the Fear Out of the Gear, even if you like. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. And subscribe. And if you ping that bell, you'll get notifications of the next video. We'll see you on the next one. You look after yourselves now. Take care. Ciao for now.